I don't like sitcoms. Right. No, I don't either. Even yours. No. I mean, not like I'm mad at it. No. It's just not my thing. No. And I knew if anyone would understand it, it's you. Why How funny is that? Yeah. If that anyone would understand it, why I didn't want to watch Seinfeld with Seinfeld. Every time I turned on Seinfeld, you guys were worried about a jacket. Jerry. I got this stuff in uh, my mother's fur for storage. What are you doing? Ah, she keeps it in my apartment for when she comes up from Florida. Hey, nice jacket. Thanks. Sounds too. Whoa, this is a beauty. Great cut. It's probably very flattering. Oh, yes. It really accentuates my bus line. <laughs> hey, isn't that Willie, my dry cleaner? Where? He just went in. I think he was wearing my house to jacket. <laughs> wearing your jacket. It looked just like the jacket I brought in to be dry clean. He complimented me on it. Oh, no, 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 no. A better way to reach the bra would be to undo the jacket, then go around the back of the shirt. <laughs> You're incredible. <laughs> oh, my God. What? It's a movie stuff from the 930 show. George, I think Willie the dry cleaner has been wearing my clothes. <laughs> Hey, Kramer! Hey, Vanya! What's happened? I'm looking for a new suit. I can't find anything I like. That's a nice suit. Well, thank you. Did you get that here? No. This is vintage. They don't make this stuff anymore. Are you telling me? I sure am. How'd you like to sell it? Well, make me an offer. One hundred bucks. Surely you jest. One seventy-five? Look at the stitching. This is old world craftsmanship. $300. Sold. Follow me into the dressing room. I saw you the other night stepping out with my houndstooth jacket. Jerry, that's a breach of the dry cleaners code. You need a code to tell you not to wear people's clothes? I wasn't wearing your jacket. Jerry, you're imagining <laughs> Yeah, am I imagining this? <laughs> well, that little cutie in the pocket. Now, they're all be taking my business elsewhere. And I want my mother's fur coat back, too. Now? Yeah, I want that coat. Where's the ticket? Oh, Framer. Wait, wait a minute. You, you, you mean to tell me that you don't have a ticket for the coat? No, not on me. Kramer, I want my money back for this suit. Your Nancy boy cream leaked all over the pocket. Suit's ruined. Well, you're not getting any money back. Jerry, come back. Excuse me. <laughs> the numbers on that ticket. Never mind, Oma. I need that ticket to get my mother's fur coat back. Why don't you just give him the money for the suit? I'm not going to get him $300 now for a suit with moisturizer cream all over it. Hey, isn't that my mother's fur coat? <laughs> What do you think the dry cleaner's your own personal closet? So did you like the movie? Yeah, it was okay. Frankenstein didn't seem quite right to me. Mm -hmm. I missed the sport jacket. <laughs> Not that it was that nice of a jacket. I mean, it didn't fit him that well, but to me, there's just something about a monster in a blazer. <laughs> it shows at least he's making an effort. That's funny. <laughs> no, I'm glad you enjoyed it. All right, where are you going? Uh, I gotta get a suit cleaned. I have a funeral on Friday. Who died? Remember the guy who pretended he had cancer so I would buy him the toupee? <laughs> so he actually happened? No, car accident. That's a very nice jacket. Oh, nice. Very soft. Huge button flaps, cargo pockets, drawstring waist, deep by swing vents at the back, perfect for jumping into a dump What do you know of all that? That's my coat. You mean? Yes. I'm Jay Peterson. So, she bought it on her trip to Europe in 1926? Jerry, I'm thrilled you like my mutton. I was afraid you only ate salad. Hey, <laughs> salad's got nothing on this mutton. I love that beautiful uh, chest over there. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, yeah, that was in uh, Mama's study. I love that desk. Can I borrow your jacket? Um, well, uh, the thing is... It's that cold it... out, okay? I didn't bring my own. Okay. Yeah. Jerry? Jerry? <laughs> God forbid I should borrow one from Holly. Might have belonged to Grandma Mima. <laughs> Thanks for mutton. <laughs> Don't believe what you hear. <laughs> I really do. My cousin Holly is completely insane. She keeps calling and accusing me of stealing her napkins. Napkins? I mean, why? Why would I take her stupid napkins? Because they were in the pockets of my jacket. They were? Yes, I was using them to spit out the mutton. <laughs> you spit it out? We had dogs chasing me for that. I was almost mauled because of that mutton. So where's my jacket? Oh, I must have left it at James's. You know, I lost all of my 630 clients because of it. Yeah, well, why did you have to stick your feet in my face? Yes, I have the jacket. Hold on. Fellas. <laughs> Listen, I'm, uh, I'm meeting James here. He's bringing over your jacket. Mm. And what about the napkins? Oh, God, I didn't take your napkins. And who did? Ask Jared. Hey, we can argue all night over who took the napkins. The point is, in today's modern world, it just doesn't seem relevant. Hey, what happened to my jacket? Oh, the dogs did that, but it wasn't their fault. Somebody stuffed some strange meat in the pockets. Was it what? Could have been. <laughs> You always stuff meat in your pockets? Uh, sometimes I use a sofa. Here's what you do. You bring a lightweight jacket. That way the sun comes out, you play the jacket off the sweater. Oh, that makes sense. That's a good call, Stan. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys later. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. What? Was it a tall woman in a black blazer? Yeah. <gasps> Uh, Hi, I'm Jerry Seinfeld. Uh, Pat Cooper made a reservation for me. Yes, Mr. Seinfeld, but um, all gentlemen are required to wear jackets in the dining room. Oh, I'm sorry. Problem, please follow me. <laughs> yeah, not bad. I kind of like this little thing here. Hey. Nice. This way, please. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's a nice jacket. Oh, I don't believe this. I forgot to give it back. It belongs to the Friars Club. Yeah, I like that crest. <laughs> The jacket is not here. It's got to be here somewhere. Where the hell is that jacket? Oh, the one with the crest. Yeah. Oh, well, that's at the cleaners. <laughs> the cleaners? How did it get there? Well, I, uh, I borrowed it last night and it got a little dirty. Great. Somehow I dozed off and woke up in a pile of garbage. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm late. Hey, 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 hey. you wearing the uh, Friars Club jacket? Yeah, it wasn't ready on time. I have to return it after the show. How would you kind people like to lend me a hand with our next trick? I don't think so. Please, take off your jacket. My jacket? Yes, the jacket. What do you say, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> you can't argue with that. Come on. <laughs> and now, we say the magic word, Agrabah, and we make it disappear. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I, I was in the audience earlier. You threw my jacket down. I just wanted to pick it up. Jacket? What jacket? I, I had a jacket with a crest on it. You came into the audience. You threw it away. Agraba. <laughs> Are you sure it was me? Well, it was either you or one of your brothers. Well, uh, two of them have left already. Dimitri wants magical horrakity? Yeah. It doesn't even belong to me. It belongs to the Friars Club. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sure it'll turn out. I'm sure it won't. Don't worry. I'll get the jacket back. All right. There you go. She's going to get the jacket back. Well, that was the Friars Club. You think they're going to let a jacket steal a joint? I don't think so. They're going to charge me $800 for the jacket, and i got to deal with Pat Cooper. What, what kind of show is that, Sandoz Brothers? They take your jacket, and then they just throw it? Oh, I never heard of that. It's a little unusual. You're soured. Yeah, I'm soured. Don't be soured. I'm sorry, I'm soured. Are you kidding me? We were all getting along so well. Where was all this coming from? Well, you know, frankly, I didn't think she was too concerned about my jacket. 
What are you talking about? She's very concerned. She said she was going to get it back. Yeah, we'll see. Because if she gets it back, then you'll have no reason to be sour. You'll be sour, right? I'll try and be sour. Oh, that's not good enough. You don't try and be sour. You have to sweeten it, too. I'll try. I'll try and be sour and sweeten. Hey, Cherry, what the hell went wrong? What's the matter with you? What are you, a kleptomaniac or what? I forgot to take it off. You forgot to take it off? Oh, you go into a department store, you put a suit on, and you walk right out. What are you, some sort of an idiot? I'm sorry. Where's the jacket? Well, one of the gypsies took it. Oh, the gypsies took it. Of course, New York has a lot of gypsies. Who had to be blocked as a gypsy. Well, it's, it's true, I saw it. Excuse me. Are you an entertainer? Are you in show business? No, I... Uh, I then what am I talking to you for? Jerry, you need to check the back to All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at that guy. Right there, isn't that the guy from the show? He's, he's, he's wearing the jacket. <laughs> Wait a second. Excuse me, gentlemen. Are you members? Well, I'm a prospective member. Until then, that's the way out. <laughs> but that guy has my Come jacket. On, go back. Excuse me. The guy is wearing a jacket. Come on. 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 Come that, that's my Friars Club jacket. No, it is not. This is my jacket. No, no, no. That's my jacket. No, Give it back. Not. Come on. I need this jacket. I want to join. I need it. Come on. Help me. 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 I don't think this is the jacket. No, it's not. <laughs> this is the jacket. <laughs> oh, look at the jacket bag. Thank you. We got a little dirty, so they wanted to clean it before they gave it back to uh, you. Oh, that's nice. That though. is really nice. Yeah. This is nice. <laughs> for a crested blazer. A crested blazer. I wore one once and I really think it did something for me. Yes, I think we might have something. The Joseph Abut crested blazer is the finest. That's hand ticking around the crest. And these are the world famous Corriso buttons made from the finest antelope horn. Huh, and they'll match my sneakers. <laughs> it looks fabulous on you. Shall I wrap it up? You know, I'm not sure. I'll tell you what. I'll come back later with someone, see what they think. Uh-huh. <laughs> really, I'll, I'll be back. <clears throat> so I didn't like the crest all that much. But the guy spent 15 minutes with me, so to get out of the store, I told him I wanted to see what someone else thought. And then he makes a face like he doesn't believe me. Oh, so he knew you were making it up. Yeah, he caught me. <laughs> so here's what I want you to do. Come back with me to the store, and we'll pretend to look at the coat. That's ridiculous. Why do you want to go back there if you don't want the coat? Because he thinks I was lying. I want to show him I wasn't. But you were. But if you go back with me, then I'm not. Problems with the house guest? Oh, oh. What house guest? This friend of Susan's is staying with us for two weeks. Now, am I wrong, or is that excessive? Well, Bob Sacramento, he stayed with me once for a year and a half. Who is he? He's a wig master. Hmm? What is a wig master? He's with the touring company of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. He's the guy in charge of the wigs. Here it is. Oh, Joseph Aboud. And look at this hand ticking around the crest. You know your tools. No. Well, hey, what about the crest? What do you think of the crest here? Well, I love it. You what? I think it's great. I think you should get it. Yeah. <laughs> Will it be check or credit card? Check. Who are supposed to say that? But I really did like it. That's not the point. You put me in a position where I had no choice. <laughs> Sorry. I saved the best for last. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Behold, the Technicolor dream coat. <sighs> Spectacular. I had a lot of nerve hitting on a lane right in front of me. He stands to make a big commission, too, on that jacket with the crest that nobody seems to like. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take that jacket back. 
I'm putting this guy right out of commission. <laughs> I'd like to return this jacket. Certainly, may I ask why? For spite. <laughs> spite? That's right. I don't care for the salesman that sold it to me. I don't think you can return an item for spite. What do you mean? Well, if there was some problem with the garment, if it were unsatisfactory in some way, then we could do it for you. But I'm afraid spite doesn't fit any of our conditions for a refund. That's ridiculous. I want to return it. What's the difference what the reason is? Let me speak with the manager. Excuse me. Bob? <laughs> what seems to be the problem? Well, I want to return this jacket, and she asked me why, and I said for spite, and now she won't take it back. Uh, that's true. We can't return an item based purely on spite. <laughs> well, so fine, then. Then I don't want it. Then that's why I'm returning it. Well, you already said spite, so... <laughs> No? You said spice. It's too late. Oh, I just remembered. I've got to get the dream coat from the dry cleaner. Now, you got to let me wear the other one, right? Yeah, but you have to be very careful with it. It's my only backup. Hey, who do you think you're talking to? Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Hello. -bye. Bye. Bye. So, this is Jerry. Hello. Yeah. Um, Ethan, what brings you to town? I'm touring with Joseph and the Amazing Tucker Color Dream Coat. You're kidding. <laughs> Disgrace to the uniform. <laughs> you know, this is your coat. Damn. <laughs> Look, I sold raincoats in the garment center for 38 years. In 1949. All right, all right, all right, all right. You come in tomorrow, we'll find something for you to do. This slicer is indomitable. Where'd you get that butcher's coat? <laughs> you buy enough meat, they'll give you any. Hey, babe, you already hit the ice? Yep, I am ready to skate up. <laughs> Why are you wearing that? It's my winter coat. So Putty wears a man fur? He was strutting around the coffee shop like Stein Erickson. Hey, hey Elaine. Hey. I think you know Dr. Thais. Hey, Joe Mayo. I need you to be in charge of coats. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Goodbye, Dr. Zayas. <laughs> All right, let's hit the bricks. What? Hey, I got a coat just like this. <laughs> so Joe Mayo had the same coat. And you threw it out the window? <laughs> God, you're like a rock star. <laughs> so now Joe Mayo wants me to buy him a new coat. Because you threw it out. No, because I was in charge of the coats. <laughs> it's insane. But you did actually throw his coat out the window. But he doesn't know that. 
As far as he knows, someone stole it. And that's the person who should be held responsible. But that's you. So I guess I'll have to buy him a new coat, even though I don't think I should be held responsible, which I am anyway. <laughs> Well, I'm satisfied. And what is that up that tree? Man, that looks like a dead bear. Oh, that's a fur coat. Hey, uh, give me a boost. Well, I guess I better go and price fur coats. Oh, go down 88th Street. They're free. What are you talking about? They're hanging from the trees. You know, Newman found one there yesterday. 88th Street? That's where Joe Mayo lives. That's the coat! I heard that you found a fur coat in a tree, and I believe that it belongs to a friend of mine, and I'd like to give it back to him. Sorry, climbers keepers. I've waited for this moment. But alas, my heart belongs to another man's wife, and I have given the coat to her. All right, we're done here. Hey, so we go. Look at this, huh? Svetlana says she finds it in the laundry room, but I think it is a gift from that postman agitator. Where is that? Hey, Newman didn't even give her that. No, it's a, that's not even a woman's coat. It's a, it's a man's. A man's? Yeah. What kind of a man would wear fur? What about Jerry? <laughs> Jerry? Yeah, sure, he's a celebrity. Oh, yeah, they wear a lot of furs. They're desperate, insecure people. <laughs> You are right. It's all about me, me, me. Please look at me. I am so pretty. Love me. Want me. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> all you have to do is wear the fur so Silvio thinks it's yours. I'm not wearing the fur. Well, then Newman and I, we get thrown out of the building. Is that right? <laughs> all right. Silvio's down there. He's shoveling the walk. Now, all you got to do is put this on. You go down to the corner, you pick up a paper, and you come right back. All right. There you go. Oh, boy, look. Uh. Hey, Sylvia. Just out for a little stroll in my favorite fur coat. That is your coat? It sure is. Kramer says you'll need it because you're an entertainer and you're desperate for attention. That's true. Yeah, you forgot your purse. Oh, thanks. Hey, Sylvia, look at Jerry here, prancing around in his coat with his purse. <laughs> yep, he's a dandy. He's a real fancy boy. <laughs> Maybe this isn't my coat. Yeah, all right, all right, you're not fancy. No, he's very fancy. Want me, love me, shower me with kisses. <laughs> Jerry, where'd you get it? That's his coat. No, it's not. It's mine. I'm a fancy boy. Is that your coat? Is that it's not his coat? Whose coat is it? It's Joe Mayo's coat. Who's Joe Mayo? Oh, he must be the man that's sleeping with your wife. Hello? Hello? What is that? It's the new coat. You ditched the fur? Yeah, I saw Jerry wearing his. He looked like a bit of a dandy. <laughs> Check it out. Hey, Paul. You got a question. You ask the hey, Paul. You're going to wear this all the time? All sides pointy, yes. <laughs> Did I just see that? Oh, that ought to keep you busy for a couple of days, huh? <laughs> believe this. Excuse me, I wonder if you could do me a favor. My uncle's having a little problem with shoplifting. Mm -hmm. Where's your uncle? <laughs> He's over there in the overcoat. If you could just kind of put a scare into him, you know, set him straight. We have a 5150 in paperbacks. All units respond. <laughs> 5150, that's, that's just a scare. Sir, right? I'm going to have to ask you to stand out of the way and let us handle this. Swarm! Swarm! <laughs> I'm an old man! I'm confused! You're under arrest. I just wanted you to scare him. Jerry, you ratted me out! Hello? <laughs> Hello. 